And I literally sell 100 properties a year just from that. And I'm able to take the time I was prospecting and apply it towards building other businesses, spending more time with the family, whatever I want to do. And I'm still able to maintain that same level of level of volume and income. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Every Wednesday, I'm like, oh, you know, I got to do this email. Ricky's podcast says to do this weekly email and it works because I'm seeing the opens, the shares, people forward it. I get people booking Calendly links to talk about a buyer consultation call. Um, so yeah, if you don't mind talking a little bit about that weekly email and just the value that it can provide to those in the audience, that would be awesome. No, absolutely, man. It's, it's literally the core of my business, right? When it comes down to, you know, right under the fact that I'm valuing relationships over transactions, right? A phrase that I created back in whenever I started writing books, um, right under that, that, right under that philosophy is the consistent weekly email. So you're doing it in your real estate business. Yes, I am yeah. seeing, I'm seeing huge results. Listen, man, the, it, like I didn't know that that's what I was doing. Like when I started it, you know, it, it, it's literally, I'm building personal brand. I didn't, I didn't even know that word existed. I didn't know what personal brand was when I started this, but I would just listen to my clients and my prospects and my customers. They wanted weekly information, you know? And so I started providing weekly information to the select group of clients. And then eventually I was like, why am I just sending it to these clients? I'm going to send it to all the, all my clients. Right. And then, and then I realized, okay, now it's just a race to see how many people I can create relationships with that will give me their email address to put them into this weekly email machine, right? This personal branding Goliath. Okay. As I like to call it. So, so what I find interesting is that with email, okay. When I compare email to social media, Okay, social media, I'm looking at a 1% to 25% organic reach, depending on what platform I'm on. Organic reach meaning the number of followers, the percentage of the number of followers you have that actually see what you post. Okay, 1 to 25%, depending on what platform. So you only have 1 to 25% of your followers actually seeing your content. Okay, and that's horrible. Okay, that's horrible. Well, social media wants you to pay. You know, you got to pay to play. They want you to pay so that your followers see your content. That's what's so bad about it, but it's okay. You know, they're making billions and you know, this is, that's how the world works, right? So, but with email, I'm looking at a 90% organic reach. You know, I'm looking at 90%. Okay, think one to 25. Do I want one to 25? Do I want to build my business around a one to 25% organic reach? Or do I want to build my business on a 90% organic reach. Organic meaning free reach to the people who are on your list or follow you, right? And so that's why me looking back on it thinking, wow, what a good move that was when I started that, not realizing how incredible it actually was at the time. Um, I just knew that it was something that could work. And so I started doing it. So since 2007, every single Wednesday since 2007, I only missed one Wednesday ever since 2007 and that was a couple weeks ago when Hurricane Sally, Hurricane Sally hit us Tuesday night, like three or four weeks ago. Um, unexpected damage, you know, like we, it was a hurricane too, not expecting the damage that it, that it, you know, we were out of power six days, trees down everywhere, it was crazy. Um, so that was the only Wednesday ever since 2007 missed. And um, you know, it, here's what it does. It should be the foundation of your personal brand. Everyone should do this weekly email. If they want to do social media, stack it on top of the weekly email. If you want to do social media, if you want to do other things, cool. But let's start with the weekly email and become really consistent with weekly content to our, to our audience, to our database, right? And so what it does is it, it does all the heavy lifting for you in terms of building that relationship deeper, okay? It shows them it's an extension of you and it shows them how dependable you are, hardworking, consistent, you know, knowledgeable, professional, honest, that you're in the market, that you're selling stuff, that you know what's up. It does all that for you without, and you can scale it. See, it, 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 you're reaching everybody on this personal level because you create the email every week, right? You're, you're telling, you're giving your two cents on what's going on. And so they feel you, they feel you in that email. It's not a drip campaign about how to cook shrimp at Touffee, you know what I mean? Or like what color to paint your walls in the fall or 10 buyer tips. 
Like uh, nobody wants to, nobody cares about how to, you know, cook shrimp, betouffee, or lasagna, right? They'll Google it if they do, right? Well, you know what's so funny is, is you'll get those drip campaigns from agents, and guess what? You'll get like four of them right at the same time from different agents, same exact email, same subject, same. It just happened last week, yeah. and, and I know the system because I went to the conference of one of the guys, and it was a lender and a realtor, and I both got the same email the same day, same exact template. And I know you preach against doing that because, I mean, people can smell through that and they can see through it. And so you've got to just add your own flair and your own personality to the emails, right? And that's what you do. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. When you create it every week, that gives them that original content that they want, that they haven't seen anywhere else, that gives them the inside information of what's going on with you. That's how you win. That's how you win on any platform with the, with, with the personal brand, original, consistent content. I don't care where you are. It's got to be original. It's got to be consistent. If you're, if it's going to win, if you hire a company to to post generic content on your on your page, you're going to get three likes and nobody's watching. You know what I mean? It's got to be interesting. It's got to be cutting edge. It's got to be you. It's got to be personable. And so even though they know it's this bulk email, they still feel Ricky in there. You know, they feel connected to me. You know, and that's what keeps keeps everything going. And so, you know, I made a hundred thousand calls in my career cold calls from 2002 when I started to 2017, right? 2017, I built my database and my weekly email list up so big that I literally never, I haven't made a cold call since 2017. I have done a single direct mail, single open house, single anything, but the, but the weekly email, that's my sphere, right? 19,000 get it, 5,000 open it up. Um, so it's about 25% open rate. 5,000 people opening it up every week. I mean, that's a massive situation. People engaged week after week after week for years. And I literally sell 100 properties a year just from that. And I'm able to take the time I was prospecting and apply it towards building other businesses, spending more time with the family, whatever I want to do. And I'm still able to maintain that same level of, level of volume and income.